Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be the part 4 to the save system series. And this is going to be all about having a sort of auto save, or when you walk into a collision, then you will do a save. And it's going to be very similar to what we've done before with um, the saving mechanics we've done with the simple save and just running these lines of content which we need to run to make it do the save so say we want to create a collision and every time you walk into it it does the actual save that we want so what we can do is we can go create uh, C sharp and then we can call this save trigger something like that we'll open that up and we'll get a new script and what we're going to do by start by writing in here is we're going to say that void on trigger enter brackets collider with a capital then other lowercase after that then we're going to have two curly brackets below and then we're going to say that if other dot compare tag in brackets in quotes and then we'll write player or whatever your um, character will be tagged normally player then we can put in here the lines of code that we want to do so we can just grab all this say uh, copy that control C control V to paste it in we also need to make sure that we are have got the two um, variables that we need so we'll put those at the top of here above the method and then we'll save that and we also need to do at the top we need to say using unity engine dot scene management with a semicolon so all we're doing is we're on a trigger event we're looking for the player and then we're going to save the position save the scene and save any of the variables that we need to save and you can look back in the other tutorials of part one two and three for looking at how to do this more um, thoroughly so all we've got is simple trigger what we'll do is we will create a game object 3d object cube i'll add the cube to this floor I will put it in the blue square so we can see it when we um, reload and what we'll do is we will make sure that this is is trigger over here we'll add the save trigger over there we'll make sure we add the manager game object and also we'll add the player I'll make this trigger slightly bigger and we could end up getting rid of the mesh render if we want but for the sake of this we'll just um, leave it for now before you do anything you need to make sure that your fps controller has a tag of player on it just for the sake of this now when we play the game we expect to run through this collision like we've just done and if it's worked we'll be able to press when we reload we'll be able to load and we'll move exactly where we just saved at that collision and we can add a, a line of code in so when you've walked through the collision and done all this you could say this dot game object dot set active and then in brackets false with a semicolon so what this means is that when you walk through it it's going to set it to um, not active anymore so you can't walk through it multiple times and do a save so you see I've just walked into it and it's disappeared but it will still executed all the lines of the saving before it turns it off and then you could essentially add your own um, sort of UI pop-up to say that you've saving or you're doing something with the game to make it easier for players to understand so that's pretty much it just having a simple collision with an on trigger event adding those lines of code and then turning it off after and then you can do your loading however you learn to do it if you're going to do it from following my other tutorials. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.